Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a daily psychic tarot reading, checking in on the day's energies, <clears throat> seeing what news we can use, what divine information wants to come forward. So let's get started, shall we? Hope you guys are all doing well. That things are going well for you. Thank you so much for joining me here, for liking the videos if they resonate with you, and subscribing and uh, sharing your supportive comments with me and other people in this channel. So, just love that we're creating this nice, beautiful space together. So. Let's get started, shall we? <clears throat> In the past, we've got the Page of Swords. So learning something new. Uh, it looks like learning something new that's kind of having to, you, you're having to slow down. Thing. Having to slow down new ideas new ways of seeing things. All right. So it's a new way of doing things around, um, oh, around leaving situations that are um, not for you, no longer in resonance. Maybe at some point they were in resonance. Maybe this is a situation, person, group. What I'm getting is that part of what's been going on for many of us is learning how to tune into our own internal guidance our own divine guidance that we have, our own intuition. It looks like, you know, those wonderful feelings pulling you forward towards inspiration. It, it looks like you've been doing that. Even just little things during your day that don't feel like they are that meaningful but they're very meaningful. The little things, the little, like, I'm not sure what this is, but I feel like it's time to go for a walk right now. And then you meet someone on the walk, you know, someone really friendly and wonderful, or you see something. And so it's divine timing. So it feels like you're learning how to follow those intuitive hits being pulled towards like, you know, soul fulfillment. As that, as you learned that, now it looks like in the past, there's something quite recently that's happening, that happened, that you um, were happening, that where you are learning how to release what no longer serves you. Maybe it's a connection, or a situation, a group, work, whatever that is, how can you also leave and release energies and people's and people and situations through guidance? So it might feel like a um, not good <laughs> feeling, <laughs> whereas following your intuition for what's a match for you, you generally feels really good and inspiring. There's the other side, which is realizing what's no longer for you and letting that go. So that looks like in the past, quite possibly right now and your recent past, that has been a lesson that you've been learning or lessons, a lot of lessons. It's about inner guidance. 
All right, it's fantastic. All right, so in your current energy, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Mm. This energy is empowered. She knows how to, I just feel like she is so calm. I don't feel like she over speaks. She's very comfortable in who she is. I mean, look at her. I, I don't feel like she's worried about how others are perceiving her. She's very secure, stable, nurturing. She gives a very grounded, um, very grounded, being very present. She is herself. She is mature. She's learned how to nurture and grow her own abundance and stability and security. And so those around her feel those energies as well. They feel stable and secure and abundant when they're around her. Looks like this queen of pentacles has been waiting for um, something that she's been cultivating, something, some seeds that she has planted. It feels like they've, it's just taking forever for these seeds to reach harvest. There's been, there's a, an energy around, it's like a lesson that she's learning around a lack of belief or trying to control when your, your desires, your wishes come true. It feels like there's a, a belief that's coming up, um, Whatever, what I really want doesn't want me. Something like that. Can't get what I really want. Be it feels like you've got that picture that it's big. It's very important to you. And somehow you have experienced life in a way that has created a belief that when you really want something, you can't get it. And in a way, energetically, that does make sense. Like when you are in need, when you are yearning and in that hungry for that yearning space, that, that energy tells the universe that you don't have, you're not a vibrational match for what you want. So in a way, you're right. I think you have taught yourself that if this is resonating, that um, that yearning, longing slows down manifesting what you want. So it's coming up that there's something that you've been yearning for and don't believe that it's going to come in. You might be in a little bit, you might be experiencing some victim mentality and or having, it looks like there are people in your environment talking all about you. Gossiping, 
there's something I feel like this might be who you invested in. You invested some time and some energy, a lot of time and energy focus. Yeah, it looks like there you were betrayed by some people in your environment, in the environment, in your environment. Maybe that is another um it looks like you have the strength and capability to switch these things around and they're coming up to be dealt with. It looks like <clears throat> you're clearing energies around those lack beliefs and longing and using longing and yearning instead of believing and trusting and knowing in divine timing what's a match for you um, has to show up as long as you don't have an beliefs that are blocking that energy but it does feel like um there have been some blocks in your ability to shift these energies looks like you've been having issues with not getting along with um certain type of people that carry certain lessons around betrayal, painful betrayal. But it looks like what you're doing in current energy is releasing, letting go of the betrayal in a different way. So you don't um perpetuate that cycle you're standing your ground as all of this is going down it feels like just so much is coming up for you to release i'm getting that Part of releasing um, these limitations is accepting, owning, accepting, acknowledging. Yeah, I've um, I've been involved in betrayal. It feels karmic. It feels like something has like come up in the past around leaving, how to leave a situation. And so now, or leave a people, or there's something about leaving something that's uh, and going to calmer waters. And so it feels like you're kind of feeling out for all the tension and stress and resentment and hate and pain and fear, just like going through your body, your energetic body, your physical body and owning what you have um, participated in. So you can move forward. You're not trying to project and separate, you know, like, oh, no, I'm fantastic. I, me, my goodness, I'm, you know, so innocent. So it feels like an acknowledgement. Standing in that truth. I think why um, this is a lot of energy that you're releasing and limitations but that queen of pentacles upright energy that you have access to right now is helping you just stay grounded and present. 
being just present with the process, being in your body. I feel like she's holding space. She's holding space. So you're holding space with that energy of accepting, right, you know, what's happened and deciding how to move forward as new you would respond not how older you would respond to these type of energies. All right. In the center of your reading, messages from your higher self is the Hierophant in reverse. It's about disconnection, not having the, not having that divine, communication, that divine alignment. I'm also getting not traditional. It's been coming up a lot, like um, seeing things, like it's like you're clearing the um, limitations that Sometimes tradition creates a locking in and an inability to invite new ideas and new ways of seeing things, perceiving things and doing things, communicating about things. And that's what I'm also getting. Um, the new way of doing things that does not involve um, so the new way of doing things is by not being, not allowing your emotions, negative emotions to carry you away. So you get reactive and you start manifesting, you start thinking, speaking and acting and behaving from lower vibrations and getting caught up in betrayal, deceit, envy, jealousy, limitations, gatekeeping, gatekeeping, uh, Wow, there's a lot of issues that are coming up um, to be looked at, to be released, to be accepted that, yes, this this is a subconscious aspect of me that I try to project onto others. It feels like that also is you're releasing, or at least there's an opportunity for that release. using um, the truth, the energy of the truth. Some of you might be calling in Archangel Michael and that sort of consciousness, sort of truth, that very high vibrational ninth dimension, clear, top shelf, top shelf. It's such a clear vibration that when you invite that channel of white light from Archangel Michael or the divine, you can do that right now, just inviting it from above your head to come in and wash away any distortion that's in your space. Distortion energy is live. Energy that obfuscates, obfuscates the authentic energy, the authentic pathway of that energy. So you can do this several times during the day. It clears away foreign energy. It clears away beings that have that distorted signature. 
um, in psychic school, we called it a supreme being healing, that white light. Little psychic tool there for you. Feels like you could use support right now of of this divine energy of truth. So you can see things that you might have not wanted to see. I think that's might have been part of what has unfolded here in this reading is there are things that you are subconsciously or somewhat aware of, maybe little red flags. And there's something that's happened recently that's brought the truth to light. It feels faded. It feels like a lot of um, a lot of the um, collective is going through huge tower. Well, we just went through a Scorpio, a uh, full moon in Scorpio, and it's transformation for a lot of the collective. So by allowing this energy of the truth, that Archangel Michael energy, consciousness, awareness, bringing what was unconscious or subconscious to your awareness and owning that is me. I'm not going to judge the kind of crappier aspects of who I am. I do know that I I don't want to participate that going forward. So I'm no longer projecting blame onto others, not separating myself from myself and owning my part. And by doing that, it's you come out of a nightmare. As painful as betrayal is and people who actively work against you, these type of energies that you're working through right now are painful, but not knowing the truth is it's so confusing. So on top of being emotionally distraught and in pain, there's all this confusion going on. But in the center of your reading, you're bringing in that light of truth, energy, your truth, the way you perceive things. And that helps in the nightmare. All right, your challenge right now is the world. Your challenge right now is starting a new cycle, ending a cycle, beginning a cycle. The world is completion and the start of, yeah. Oh, no, this is the wheel. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. The wheel, your challenge is... These cards do feel a lot alike often. Oh, okay. It looks, so it is about ending a cycle, starting a new cycle. Your challenge is taking the good karma that you have, because this is the wheel upright, and starting that new cycle. So it is about starting like a new way of being, meeting yourself, meeting a new version of you. And it looks like you've got a lot of really wonderful karma. So I think not focusing on that, on the past and victim mentality, but really, um, Trusting, trusting. Yeah. Oh, I'm now I'm hearing it's trusting, 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 trusting.
you trust yourself? Do you trust that you are more and more capable of receiving messages to of where to go and what to move away from, what to move towards and what to move away from? So this is about your guidance. Maybe some of you are going to be embodying this or you are embodying this inner guidance and passing this on to others. Embodying a different way of being, of not being in competition, not being... Um, not understanding how to process difficult emotions. But there's a lot that you are leaving behind. And by just embodying that, being yourself and embodying being in integrity with yourself, that others learn just by being around you. Very empowering. That maybe that's part of it too. Is you feel very empowered, and so you want to help others find their inner power. Power isn't outside anymore; it's within. You seem a little detached right now. Oh, I think you're having, okay, so what's going on in the energy? This feels very spiritual, even faded, but a lot of storylines are experiencing something around this type of energy. Um, you might be, it might be really difficult right now to Keep, stay grounded to focus on your body, on your finances, on your stability. You are very stable, but there's some kind of like disconnect from the 3D world that might be happening. Maybe that's just for some of you. Like, uh, almost like I'm. I'm frustrated that I have to deal with the day-to-day -day stuff. I have to chop wood and carry water. I have to talk to, I have these business meetings and this meeting and that, and it just feels so slow and annoying or something like that, like just, ugh. That also, that irritation I think you're trying to disconnect so you don't experience such intense um, emotions right now. I think you're trying to disconnect from <clears throat> really intense feelings that are coming up, but instead you might be just disconnecting and numbing out from your body and your experience, the 3D world. Maybe that's just for some of you. Just remember to be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be loving. Fire that inner critic. Bring in uh, a peer leader. Someone who's a, an energy that's authentic and honest. However, it feels like a... a, a a loving way so when difficulties arise you don't close off that heart space but you keep that heart space open being yourself it feels like your challenge right now is to is to Feel your emotions, but not match or mirror your emotions, to not be your emotions. I am I am experiencing, I am feeling frustrated. I am experiencing tension. Unfortunately, in our in the English language, 
you would say, I am frustrated. And so it's kind of like, I become the energy of frustration. I match that. And instead, I feel that, I experience it as an energy that flows through me. I can feel where I'm experiencing it somatically in my body. I can feel pain, tension, stress, maybe heat. I say pressure. So I can feel how these emotions are somatically affecting my body. And I can observe that and allow, and as I observe and don't match it and just allow, you know, it's okay to feel these things. It's okay to feel this discomfort. It's okay. I'm seeing a lot of this and feeling a lot of it in your back body, which means that you're really ready to release all these uncomfortable energies, emotions, feelings, beliefs that are limiting. Just allowing and noticing the ebb and flow that just then a lot of emotions were transmuted and moved on and and then what do you want to fill with so there's always release releasing what no longer serves you and then filling in and if you don't know what it is you need just ask your for guidance i would like new my new energy i would like energy from my highest prime line coming in All right, that's the end. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.